to answer the question, why are you supporting these groups? For the drug user to, to be able to receive all their rights as other Kenyans. Imeanza kujua drugs ni kiwa sana yotiri. Wakati na uo tudukua tukona marafiki zangu, shuleni. Sa tudukua tukivuta tukiwa darasani. Na hile hali enye nilikuwa natafta na yopesa si hali nzuri. Manake ni mpaka nijiuze nilele na wanume kama kumi. Kanko is a consortium of public health service organizations with over 1,200 members across Kenya and in the broader Eastern Africa region. The members have an interest in TB, HIV and other public health care concerns. Kanko and its partners are the pioneers of harm reduction in Kenya and the Eastern African region. The harm reduction project basically began in 2012. And it was uh, a project that was targeting the people who were injecting drugs, their sexual partners, and their children, with an aim to increase access to HIV and harm reduction services. Uh, we have offered the components of the three major components, the biomedical intervention, the behavioral, and the structural. For us, the clinical team, on the biomedical clinical services, that is HTS, that is HIV testing and uh, counseling. And uh, we also offer STI, treat screening and treatment, TB screening and treatment, family planning for those who are eligible, especially for the females. We offer post-exposure prophylaxis and care and treatment also. The Community Action on Harm Reduction Project, CAR, commissioned a baseline study on the state of injecting drug use in 2011 to understand the needs of people who use drugs. The study revealed that over half of people who inject drugs were at an extremely high risk of HIV infection, alongside other public health risks such as TB and hepatitis. time before join. Kwa kwa ofisi yao, nilipata huduma nzuri sana. Umesaidia kuninga na jambo la kwanza mbani na kuwa mini mtumiaji, nikisema ule upande wa kuzungu kwa usiku, inanisaidia kuninga na, na jijua hali yangu ya afya. Na jua umuhimu wa motumizi ya kondom, nikuwa kitambo sishuliki sana na sijipimi. Expanding the range of services available to PWID, the Ministry of Health in Kenya initiated a program to provide methadone to people who inject drugs in 2014. The goal is to assist uh, the drug users to stop the opioid use. And uh, for these purposes, 90% uh, of the drug users in Kenya use uh, heroin. So they'll stop using heroin and uh, basically stop injecting. This initiative, supported through a partnership model with civil society organizations, including Kanko, provides methadone covering only 9% of the 18,327 people who inject drugs in Kenya. The program plans to scale up and reach 9,000 PWID in the next three years. So we participated in the designing of the model. So it is the CSOs who will recruit the drug users in the drug using den, they will do the induction and they will bring them to the methadone center. They, they will get all the help they can there. Ka came in and gave us an opportunity to work with female injecting drug users by giving them comprehensive sexual productive health services. So we have been implementing CA. We have managed to reach quite a number of female injecting drug users. There is a legislation, a law of 1994 that uh, prohibits being in possession of injection equipment. Uh, it is against uh, the law, and that is what has caused a lot of um, suffering for many guys in the ground. I think the biggest challenge that we, we, we find is to answer the question, why are you supporting these groups? And I know the first time when we did that, is everybody said that we are actually supporting the wrong people. Remember, there is no Kenyan who is the wrong Kenyan. The drug story is not always bleak. There is hope, there is love, there is romance. Maybe to start with, I'm one of the success stories because 
kutoka kule nilitoka na vile ilivyokuwa hata members of my family paka leo wanaona kama ni kitu ambayo they can't believe mpaka leo ndio nikakuta na huyu mwanamke naye amekuja rehab kuacha dawa yeye pia tukakutana hapo rehab kutia story nini nikamweleza ile history yangu vile iko paka nimefikia kuacha dawa kuja hapa rehab akanielezea story yake na yeye vile iko nikamweleza anampenda akanembea sawa wataka vipi ngamea toki ni wapi si vibaya under car kanko focused on working with pwid in nairobi and the east towns of mombasa malindi kilifi and ukunda before extending services to central kenya in fika and the nyanza region in kisumu and migori counties the second thing is it is not my issue it's not my brother it's not me or it is belongs to this part of the country or the other part of the country believe me how use of drugs is spread across Kenya the only difference is numbers the third area that you get is regular support of professionals because not every other professional is oriented to to harm reduction Dutch government investments through the International HIV AIDS Alliance have been critical to this development managed by Kanko. And the other thing I want to say is about money. Uh, because for everything to happen, we need resources. And there's competitive challenges when it comes to allocation of resources. So I think for me I'm looking at a more balanced approach, looking at biomedical, behavioral and structural, looking at domestic financing and also looking at low threshold programs if these interventions work in the community let them be at the community so for me yes there are challenges and that's what makes it even beautiful the beauty is you walk in five men and women happy clean back in society kanko has been awarded a global fund regional grant to develop regional advocacy policy reform and improve strategic information to build harm reduction responses across Eastern Africa in Burundi, Ethiopia, Kenya, Mauritius, Seychelles, Tanzania, Zanzibar and Uganda. Through the HIV and Harm Reduction for Eastern Africa project, Kanko is collaborating with regional partners to establish a harm reduction advocacy network for Eastern Africa. This changes in risk practices and improved access to services along with policy support from the Kenyan government are already producing results. We anticipate that these changes will soon be reflected in the HIV prevalence among drug users in Kenya.